Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning, ILLAOC. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah, 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 oh, oh, Lord, oh, oh, Lord, hallelujah, oh, I love you, Jesus, I worship him. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. Hallelujah, Leo. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Good morning, Dina. Oh, I love you. Good morning, Valerie. I worship and adore you. Yeah, yeah. Love you more than anything. Oh, Lord. We love you this morning. We love you this morning, oh, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Well, praise God. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Just waiting for some to come in. Praise God. I didn't announce I was going to be on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do better to make it a surprise to everybody. Amen. Including the enemy. Praise God. Good morning. You all speak. Hallelujah. Good morning, it's Arabella Weaver. Praise God, hallelujah, in Intercession City, Kissimmee, Florida. Amen. It is a beautiful day, a beautiful morning. Hallelujah, amen. Amen, Dina. The opportunity to breathe. Hallelujah. <laughs> One more time. The opportunity to give glory to God. One more time. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. God bless you. Oh, hugs, hugs, and kisses. Amen. Love, 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 love to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Allison, God bless you. Amen. Can you all see me and hear me okay? Amen. We're on Verizon this morning. We shouldn't be having any problems. <laughs> Woo! The Lord is good. Whoa, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Misty, hallelujah. Good morning, Misty. I haven't seen you in a while. Whoa, Rabba Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, amen. And the Lord has, amen, praise God. You know, the Lord has a tremendous word this morning. Hallelujah, but we're going to glorify him. We're going to glorify him before we go into that word because we always need to lift him up, amen. We need to lift him up and give him all the glory and all the praises for who he is, for who he's yet to be in our lives. Praise God, because we, we're just growing and we're multiplying every day because he grows and he multiplies in us every day. Amen. Oh, whoa. That's who Jesus is. 
Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve. Amen, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, amen. The intercessors are behind me this morning. Amen. Dina, you're there. Lauren, you're there. Praise God, amen. Thank you, Jesus. What would we do without one another, amen? What would we do, what would Florida do without the intercessors? We don't even want to know, praise God. We don't even want to know, oh my goodness. We don't even want to know, praise God, hallelujah. I just thank the Lord this morning. God is so very good to us, hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Hey, Karobo Shikara Rabaha Sete. Wo Rabaha Sikara de Yalalea Shete Karabaha. Wo Rabba Baba Hasete Karobo Hosi Bikaralea Sete. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wo Rabba Baba Baba Sikara Rabaha. We want to pray. We want to pray together. Amen. We want to pray in unity. We want to just bless the Lord this morning. You know, I, I, I just, I tell you what, if he don't do anything else, he has so already done more than enough. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Ah, thank you, Lord. Isn't he, I, I'm just amazing, just powerful. Oh, we just love him this morning. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. You know, when you have the love of God on your heart and you begin to pray in the spirit, you begin to allow the Holy Spirit to pray through you. Nothing like it. Amen. Nothing, nothing, nothing like it. Glory to God. Who is he the center of your life this morning? Is he the center of your life this morning? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lord God Almighty. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. So be it and so be it. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise you this morning, Father. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. You know, I just thank the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, because we have an opportunity to come before him this morning. Amen. We, I thank the Lord because we have an opportunity to come before him, to lift him up, to glorify him, to, to call his name. You know, and I will not, I will not hold back. I will not ever, I just will not stop calling on the name of the Lord. Because when I call his name, he told me I get his attention and I want his attention every single moment of the day. Because I, I I need him like that. Do you all need him today? Well, I, I when I get through, you're going to feel like you need him. <laughs> no, when I get through, praise God, when, the, when I share the word that the Lord has placed on my spirit, I just come to encourage you, just to give you an encouraging word this morning that, that, that we need, that all of us, that all of us need this morning. Amen. And I just want to share an encouraging word with you. But I want to do what the Lord has said to me that uh, uh, he told me to tell the intercessors to do. He told me two or three weeks ago. He said to me some weeks ago, you know, I, my days run together. About four weeks ago, the Lord said to me, he says, tell the intercessors that the enemy has become more cunning and more deceiving. And they must come before me from a place of faith, from a position of faith, not looking at what's going on in the world and not coming before me from a position of, of, um, from a position of, from their emotions, because their emotions will take them to fear 
and I don't move under fear, he said. He says, but if they would come before me from a position of faith. And you know, when we call on the name of the Lord God Almighty, we understand what his name, uh, what his name represents and what his name means. Then we're able to come before him from a position of faith. Amen. I believe that. I sincerely believe that. Because he's talked to me about who he is. He's talked to me about what his name means. And the fact that when he breathed into Adam, he breathed who he is into us. How powerful is that? That's, that's because he loves us. That's because he created us. He loves us regardless whether we're good or bad. He loves us because he created us. Because we're created in his image. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Oh, he's so good. Ha! Woo! Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is good today. Yes, he is. He is good today. Amen and amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Y'all wave at me. Y'all say hello and share, share. Because we God has given me an encouraging word for everyone this morning. But we want to lift up the Lord. Oh God, we want to lift up Jehovah. And we want to mean it from our very being when we call on his name. Father, you are Jehovah this morning. And we thank you that you are Jehovah Sick Canoe. You're our righteousness. So, Father, we thank you that you give us the opportunity to come before you and repent in your presence. To ask you to forgive us of all sin and unrighteousness as we come before you this morning. Forgive us, oh God. Wash us, cleanse us, purify us. Woo! Wow! With your hyssop, oh God. Cleanse us. That as we come before you this morning, Father God, we shall be stained by the blood of Jesus, white as snow. Whoa, my God, my God, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, hallelujah. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that, oh, glory to God, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah, sick canoe in our lives. You are a sanctifier. You are a, a, a righteousness. You are a sanctifier. A very holiness. There could be none without we coming. Without you being Jehovah's sick canoe in our lives. And Lord, and we thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the praises. Father, we thank you that you are Jehovah Shalom. You're our peace in the midst of all the chaos, in the midst of all of the trouble and concern in this world. Peace that surpasses all understanding. That we, you know, that we that, that is almost unexplainable. That's who you are. Whoa, that's who you are in us. God, we love you today. We love you today, Father, because you are Jehovah Shabbat. You are forever there. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us. And that's who you are in me. Whoa. In you. That's who he is. He is Jehovah Rohi. He's our shepherd. He's our friend and our companion. Oh, my, 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 my. Whoa, Rabbi Shout out, Rabbi No greater, no greater friend. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you. <laughs> we thank you, Lord God, that. Uh, you're Jehovah Nisi. You're our victory banner. Right up on our forehead, forehead, it says V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. And Lord, you put that there. You're our victory. The battle is not ours, but it is yours. And God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name that you are Jehovah Rapha. You're our healer. There is no sickness in you, Lord God. There is none now. There has never been and there shall never be. That is who you are in us. We walk. 
We live, we, we breathe and have our being in divine health. Yes, we do. Whoa, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Divine help. Divine help. Lord, you are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. You meet all our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We never have to, we never have to wonder. We never have to try to figure out where and how our needs shall be met because our needs are always met in you, oh God. Oh, good morning, Jacqueline. Our needs are always met. Woo! Our needs are forever and always met in you, Lord God. Father, when, when we lacked, you sent us Jesus. How powerful. When we failed ourselves, you sent us Jesus. Glory. Whoa, whoa. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your love. Ooh. Thank you for being God in our lives. Thank you for being all existent. Adonai, my great Lord, Lord Master, <laughs> for being Lord Master. El Yon, El El Yon, the Most High God. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord. Yeah, let us see, Canada. Woo! Thank you for being El Shaddai, our God that is more than enough. He is greater. Do you, he's greater. Oh, if you're praying with me, if you're calling on the name of the Lord, you have his attention now, you see. Oh, glory to God. I said, Lord, I said unto him one day, I said, how do we truly worship you? And he said, with my name. <laughs> he said, with my name. I said, Lord, how do we truly, how do we truly, truly worship you? And he said, with my name. Oh, my God. We truly, truly. Yeah, we truly, truly worship him when we call on his name. Because when we call on his name, we're calling on him. We're not calling on anyone else. We're not giving anyone else our attention. Don't you love him this morning? Just love on, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Ooh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. He said, get up and seek me first. Seek his kingdom first and all his righteousness. And all shall be added unto us. He literally, in Matthew 6, gave us the strategy by which we, have to, we don't have to be concerned about any of our needs. He said it would be added unto him, unto us, if we seek him first and his righteousness. Father, fill us with your righteousness. You're Jehovah. Sick canoe. You are our righteousness. Come on. Woo, y'all. Hey, say yellow shut up. I declare decree, for he told me I could do so, and it 
it shall be established. I declare and decree in your life today that all your needs are met according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He is, he has, and he shall do that that he is, has promised. And he promised us that. And he is not a man that he should lie. Oh my God. Whoa! Tell the Lord. I want you to tell the Lord. I just feel the Holy Spirit right now. I want you to tell the Lord what you have need of today. Right now. Because he's waiting to hear from you. Tell him what you need right now. Because he is Jehovah. Jireh. The Lord, your provider. <laughs> Whoa, God. And how many times, even for you all that's in business, Dina, even for you all that's in business, he said, I will give you the power and ideas to make wealth for the establishing of his kingdom. Yes. That's what he said. It's yours. It's yours. See, that's a promise that he has sent. He has already sent that. That is not even, that's not even necessarily what you, you don't even have to necessarily ask for that because he's already promised it. So you lift it up to Father and you say, this is your word, and pray, allow the Holy Spirit to release God's word to him in his language, and it opens the heavens, and it empowers the angels, and they go forth and bring God's word into manifestation on your behalf. Woo! Ain't that good? That's just good to me. But that yellow old she can I buy son that yellow leo shete. A couple of weeks ago, the Lord just put me on my face, on my knees, on my face, and gave me shy yellow leo say and gave me that revelation to take me into a place of rest. And I tell you, Wesley and I have been, he said, list, and I keep preaching this because I need whoever didn't hear it to get it. God needs you to get it. He said, Arabella, everything I have told you that I'm going to do, everything that I told you to do, all my promises, He said, <laughs> I said, Lord, how do we pray for what you already said you're going to do? <laughs> he said, you release my voice. He said, because I've sent the answer. I've sent the promise. But the angels are waiting to hear from you, waiting to hear my voice. To command, <clears throat> the angels are waiting to hear my voice to bring that into manifestation upon the earth. They're listening. They're listening. They're listening. Y'all, they're listening. They're just listening for your voice. They're just listening for your voice. Release your voice. And he told me, he literally said, make a list of what I told you that I'm going to do for you. Make a list of what I told you that I'm going to do. Make a list of what I, of my promises that you're believing me for. He said, and all you got to do is lift it up and go, Father, I lift this up to you. And when we lift it up, the angels are listening. They beckon to the call of Father that gives them instructions, gives them the plan of how to bring it to pass in the earth. Hear the voice of the Lord. 
Hear the voice. This doesn't mean that your angels aren't working. Daniel angels were Daniel and J Daniel 10. The angel was right there working. Oh, glory. Y'all, we need to put our armor on before we go any farther. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. For the armor you've given me to clothe in this day that I, my Lord's are great about with truth and I have on the breastplate of righteousness. My feet are shod in the preparation of the gospel of peace. I have the shield of faith which enables me to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. I have on the helmet of salvation the sword of the spirit is in my hand and engrafted on my heart. Thou art not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Power, love, and a sound mind. Glory. You have given me revelation knowledge in you. Oh, my God. You enlighten me to know your wisdom, oh God. You enlighten me with your wisdom, Father, not my wisdom, but your wisdom. That I would walk circumspect according to your word and according to your ways. Not my will, oh God. But your will be done, oh God. Your will be done. Yeah, see upon the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, I, I, I just I just felt earlier that we, I'm gonna be praying for some people. Father, we just thank you right now. Cause see, this should be a part of our lives every single morning. We all should have, in my class on Monday nights, I teach, and I had all my students to, students to write a foundational prayer. And that is a foundational prayer, and I had them to place, I had them to place, <laughs> oh, see, I had them to write a foundational prayer and place the name of God in that prayer. Oh, come on, y'all. Because we all, you should, every intercessor should have a foundational prayer. That is a prayer that you can pray with your eyes closed. You can pray while you're whatever, whatever. And just, just placing on your armor and covering yourself in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. That covers our children, covers our grandchildren, great, 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 and great grandchildren. That covers our home, our finances, covers our vehicle, covers your plans for our life, oh God. Covers my destiny. Glory to God. Good morning, Donna. We should all have that because we're intercessors. And it should just flow out of us. Now, if you don't, you don't. Just get it. Amen. Hallelujah. Whoa, there's, there's particular scriptures that I've been praying over my life for 30, 40 years. And so they just come out of me. And we all have them. I know we all do. And I just thank the Lord this morning. But where I was going was that Daniel, oh yes, thank you Jesus for soundness of mind, amen. Where I was going was that Daniel had an angel that was working on his behalf and he said, he told Daniel that God, this is all God, he gave me this about three weeks ago. Now we know about bringing heaven into the earth because we've been hearing it and hearing it and hearing it. But listen, let me tell you something. You need to have the truth. You until God, the Holy Spirit, comes and gives you revelation knowledge and it becomes life to you. You just been hearing it. And you've been doing it. You've been doing that that another man's, you've been doing another man's revelation. I love y'all. Y'all know I do. You've been doing another man's revelation. But seek God that he, seek the Holy Spirit that he would speak to you and give you the revelation for what he's assigned you to do. And see, that's what God did for me. He gave me the revelation for what he's assigned us to do. He said, I, I, I sent you to Intercession City. Yes. And I told you what I'm going to do there. And I said, well, Lord, how do I pray? He said, you take that. 
and lift it up to me and pray in the Holy Spirit. Shut it out of my seeking and of a whole Y'all hear what I'm saying? Come on now. Father, we just lift up these intercessors before you, oh God. For you have given them assignments and you have given them strategies. He kind of does say, give them the revelation of how they're to go forth and complete the, the strategy, complete the, uh, the assignment you've given them. Father, we pray that as they pray in the Holy Spirit, Lord God, speak. Holy Ghost, speak. Speak, oh God. Ah, speak, Lord God, like never before. Speak like never before, oh God. Ah, was holding up the answer that had already been sent. The promise. And he had to go and get Michael. Amen. You know, now, this is how the Holy Spirit gave me the word. This is not actually the encouraging word that the other word that God has given me. So y'all want to hang in here with me. <laughs> But this just burns in my spirit because I'm testifying to you. I'm telling you this morning that since Wesley and I had started, took, and we wrote that list and looked like I'd be adding things almost every day. But when we, since we started holding that up and praying in the Holy Spirit every day, we have seen things happen. Do y'all hear me? We have seen things happen. That we ain't struggling, striving, working crazy to get done. Because see, we were, I, was, I was in a weary state. Lord, we just working. We just doing this. We, Lord, look like, you know, look like we still ain't getting the word out like we want to about intercession, Titty, and about you, City. You told us to continue to put the word out. <clears throat> you know, I want to pray for more intercessors. I need, I want more time. da, 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 da. And my spirit was just like praying to, you know, when you have something in your spirit and you're just turning it over and over. For about two weeks, I about well, at least a week, I had been turning that over. Lord, how am I to pray if you said you're going to do it? What exactly, what am I supposed to say? Exactly how am I to pray? Sit to the dining room table. Holy Spirit just said, he just began to talk to me. I said, Wesley. And it was like I was, it's like the Holy Spirit was speaking to, like loud. I'm just listening. And this is what he, he, he the revelation of bringing, man, bringing heaven into manifestation into the earth. Remember, remember that the Lord God is not on our level. 
We got to rise up above the norm of this world. He's not on our level, guys. And he, he was he said to me, he says, when you release my voice, it's just like when uh, uh, Daniel's angel went and got Michael. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like when he, he, it's like he went and got Michael. Y'all hear me? Yeah, I see Canada. See, see, we want to hear our own voice and our own words too much. Because our prayer language, as intercessors, our prayer language of praying in the spirit should be our primary language. Oh yes, it should. I'm just saying. Y'all can work it how y'all want to. But I, I, I need, I, you know, listen. <laughs> I, I need Jesus. I need Holy Spirit. I need all he gonna give me all the time. I need him all the time. I need him at 24-7. Yes, I do. It should be our primary language. Because see, what happens is when we walk around too much, when we, we give too much time to our own thoughts and too much time to, you know, figuring it out, the enemy sit on our shoulder and he'll give us a plan that ain't God. Or he'll talk to our mind. Because, you know, the mind is the battlefield, right? He'll talk to our mind and have us like all kind of ways. We got to get over ourselves. Because that all kind of ways. It don't please God. Come on. It just plain old don't. Now y'all know it don't. It don't please God. Oh glory to God. And the angels don't move. And the angels do not. There's no anointing. And there's no which is God's ability. <clears throat> and there's, the angels are not moving upon your thoughts, your ideas, and your uh, uh, your strategy and your plan. That's why you work yourself so hard and just just be stressed out and overworked and all. Because when it's like that, you need to back up and say, "Okay, let me see. Um, did I get off here some somewhere? Did I get off the train?" Because the train started off real good, but did I get distracted and get off? Now, you see the title for today. The word is, keep moving forward. Because the Lord woke me up. Not, no, he didn't wake me up. I mean, he did wake me up. Lord, forgive me. <laughs> he woke me up. But when I got up yesterday morning, I heard... I was I, I I got up and I was finna go on Facebook Live. I was finna do one yesterday morning, like eight eight thirty. And and but God has told me to get a certain amount of sleep. So I said, okay, Lord, I've got to go back to bed then, because I I I had went to bed too late. And I'm trying to walk out that obedience. Yes, I am. <laughs> so. I laid back down, and but then when I could have gotten up, it seemed like I was struggling, and the enemy began to talk. And he began to say, look at what you didn't get done. You ain't done this, you ain't done that. Da -da 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 -da. And he began to just chatter. And y'all know what I say about that chattering devil. If you release God's voice, you won't hear the voice of the enemy. Amen. So what I did is I said, oh, devil, you a liar. Yes, I did. Laying in the bed. I said, oh, devil, you a liar. Oh, no. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, go forward. Keep moving forward. Don't be hindered or delayed. And I'm going to share a little bit more on this probably tomorrow. Keep moving forward. For all of you out there, I just want to encourage you that if you have been working on something, you plowing, you've been praying through, you've been believing God, you've been doing what you need to do, and you haven't seen it yet, pray in the Holy Spirit more 
and keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. No, I didn't say get stagnated and be still. There is a time and a place to be still and know that he is God. But that don't mean you ain't moving forward. Y'all come on now. Here by the spirit. Because even in that time where you are to be still and know what he's saying is know that he is God. Trust him and keep moving forward. Because you can be still and pray in the spirit and you still move it. Woo! You can be still and pray in the spirit and you still moving forward. Yes, your native tongue. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you don't have your prayer language, <clears throat> I just, I can pray for you right now. And if you believe and you want it, you will receive it. Because it's all of God. We, we need to have a hunger and a thirst and a yearning in us every single day to have, to want all of God, more of him, and an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I, I just believe that if we were in the Garden of Eden right now, that Father would come and visit us every day. What? Do y'all believe that? I believe it. Because I because I would want to, I would want him to. I would desire him to. I would be looking for him every day. Daddy, I would be looking for him. Father is coming. We're to have. A desire to have an encounter. How do you make it with all of the stuff in the world? How can you how can you make it without an encounter? Whoa! And see, it don't take long to have an encounter with Father. You just have to call his name. You just have to call his name. And he'll go. And just call it yada da da isi kana da bossa. Just see I yada da yoshi kana da bossi kana da bori yada da asa. Yada da bossi anda yada da yokori yada da asi kana da bossa. Yeah yada da yada da yoshi kana da bossi anda yada da yoso. Yes, yes, he will come. Oh. Oh, we should not want to even live in this world without him and without an encounter with him. Keep moving forward. Don't let that enemy slow you down. Don't worry about what you have not done. Don't worry about what you haven't done. Repent and keep moving forward. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you, because the enemy wants to beat you down with what you haven't done or with what you need, thank you, thank you need to do. Remember, God is time. And he'll never put any more on you than you can bear. And if he chooses to, he'll do it without you. Because he can always can. Don't ever think he can't do it without you. He is God. And he is greater. Come on, let's, let's just stop bringing, stop bringing Father on our level. And remember, his language, <laughs> right, his native tongue, our native tongue, what was was what was in the garden? I I just you know I can be wrong because 
I don't necessarily find it in the word, but I just don't believe that when when Father went and spoke and, and spent time with Adam in the garden, that he spoke in English or Latin or Spanish or, you know, uh, 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 one of those languages. I believe he spoke in his language. The language that he gives us when we receive the Holy Spirit. So that we can communicate directly with him. He wants us. He desires our time and attention. But keep moving forward. There's so much that wants to try. This is I'm gonna I'm going to pull up one of my favorite. This is one of my all-time favorite scriptures. And I'm gonna pull it up for you because I want to give you a word, a scripture. And I want you to go, I want you to go to 2 Corinthians. I'm sorry, go to 1 Corinthians 15th chapter. And the 58th verse. And it says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Be steadfast. Immovable. Immovable. M-I-M-M-O-V-A-B-L-E. Immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Don't let the enemy come steal nothing from you. Because see, the only reason he gonna try to tell you you ain't you done messed up and you ain't done it and you need to do this over and you need to and da 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 da. The only reason he try, he come to tell you that is because of what you are doing. Oh. Because you are accomplishing. Because of the ground that you are gaining. So he wants to, he wants to push and push so he can get you to stop gaining territory in his camp. Because he's losing. Because he's a loser. And he knows he's a loser. He's a loser and he knows it. He knows that if we know how to call on the name of the Lord and when we pray in the spirit, boy, let me tell you, and we enter into his presence and have an encounter, we, we repent before him every day. <laughs> We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus, our families, our finances. And we declare his promises and release his promises by allowing the Holy Spirit to, tell, to give the angels orders. He knows that he's defeated. Oh, I, I ain't saying this with an ounce of pride. Because it's a battle every day. You know, because we have to fight our flesh and the enemy. But we have to remember that the battle is already won. So all we have to do is something about when you pray in the spirit and you have an understanding you have an understanding of what you're doing and father we pray for the intercessors right now reveal 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 more reveal more and more and more and more of yourself to them oh god <laughs> Manifest yourself, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Manifest yourself in their lives, oh God. 
Oh, Holy Spirit, gifts of God be stirred in us. Come on, you know, from your innermost being. Shandaya shall flow rivers of living water. Shadaraba see and die in the Leo Shikanaba Haya. Yeah, you never see and die in the Leo Shoko. Reese Kananaba Sata Yeleo say, Oh God, oh God, oh God. Wesley, get our list off of the table. Shikanaba Sandaya. Thank you, Lord. He cannot have a son, you little shake. You don't have a sick and a more real lay asaya. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Ah, ha, ha. Yes. Woo, yes. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, ya la la la, see ya la la bo, see ya la 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 haya. Glory, glory, ya la 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 ha, see ya da ya la la yo ho. Oh, God, ya ya la la ya yo ho. Oh, 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 oh. Therefore, my brother, stand firm. Amen. Let nothing move you. I sick hate. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Glory! Father, we thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yes, every day before you go out your home, mm -hmm, or even in your home, Make sure you lay hands on your belly and, and, and just say, Lord, I thank you for the gifts of the Spirit stirring in me, alive in me, stirring in my belly. See, you don't have to be a prophet. You don't have to be, you know, uh, 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 this and this and this. Just stir the gifts of the Holy Ghost up in you because you have the gifts of, you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. Just stir those gifts up. Lord, thank you right now that those gifts are being stirred on the inside of me. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge. The gift of faith, the gift of healing. The gift of working of miracles. Discerning of spirits. Oh, Oh God, uh, 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 tongues and interpretation, prophecy, prophecy, tongues and interpretation. Hi, he has given you everything you need to keep moving forward. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't put your eyes on man and what they're doing. I'm just saying. Because it'll distract you and you'll you'll all of a sudden think, well, am I do what I what I, I, I ain't doing enough or something? No, 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 no. You just stay <clears throat> with your eyes like flint upon the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has told you. You lift it up before Father. This is my list. You lift it up before Father and pray in the Holy Ghost. See, I don't know about you all, but there's some things on this list that, 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 that I know are pretty much everything on this list. I know that I can't do. That Wesley can't do. So I look at it and I say, oh my God. Whoa. No, nobody but Jesus. Nobody can do it but him. Nobody can do it but him, y'all. Come on now. Can't nobody do it but him. So I, I, what, what, so what, I, what, what, I, what I got, what I got left? What, 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 uh, what, what are the options? 
That's what I'm saying. What are the options? Psalms 91, Wesley prays Psalm 91 every day. Over our whole household, our family, and everybody. He, he prays Psalms 91 every day. Many of us aren't many of us aren't working back in the regular secular in the workforce. You home? You know? And even if you are working, you're working from home, you know. I say Canada, I see Canada, Bosaya. He can't allow us to see Canada, but really, I see Canada, but I stand by you, Lily, I see Canada, but oh, you know, I see Canada, but really, I stand by you, Lily, I see Canada, but I let me tell you when I got ready to get on this morning, I picked up something, and for some kind of way. It hit me in this eye. And I said, devil, you're a liar. Oh, I see real clear. That ain't going to stop, move, shake in any way, form, or fashion. Oh God, holy, 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 to fast and pray. Fast, yes, and pray. We need to learn how we need to learn how to train our bodies in a way. Of course, you don't don't. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord to put you on a fast. But our bodies need to be trained on how to live on less than what our flesh craves and wants it really does because there's a time and a season when maybe we not be able, we might not be able to put our hands on enough but for one meal one in in a day fast and take communion the healing power the delivering grace and power in communion whoa god Wesley, we won't take communion. I see, can I almost say? Because see, the Lord spoke to me. I'm sharing this with you because last night, God just blessed me in a tremendous way. And I, I, I just can't tell it all in, in one. You know, I can, but, you know, normally I come on and it's two hours and I, I just don't want to. <laughs> It'd be so good. Oh, glory. And I don't like putting I don't like putting restraints because the Holy Spirit don't run out. He's always talking to us. He's always giving us instruction and revelation. Woo! Woo! Glory. Whoa. But see, there's there's things that my spirit don't sometimes it don't come out in English by any means. But my spirit just meditate and just seeking the Lord about different things, you know. Oh, Questions and wanting to be able to release and you know to just just hear from the Father, hear from Him, not not me, not somebody else, not what I but the Him. The answer is in him. And sometimes when I, so even sometimes when I don't, he'll, he'll, some kind of way I'll run over a message or something on YouTube or what have you that I wasn't looking for and, and, and just catch a word. And I'll be like, oh, I've been talking to God about that. And there's the answer. Nobody but God. That's happened a lot. A lot. 
And I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not on YouTube a lot. A lot of times, Wesley and I sit in this house with no sound whatsoever. Because we like quiet, peace. <laughs> and we just work all day long. We work for hours. <laughs> and I'll call, so Wesley, you all right now? Because <laughs> we I ain't heard from him. But listen, God just dropped something else in my spirit on last night. I'm telling you. And if y'all want to join me, you're welcome to join me. But he put me on a 10-day fast. I don't know the fullness of that. I don't know if I'm just doing juice and water or um, fasting coffee, which probably is what I need to do since our coffee maker is broken anyway. But not for that reason. But, you know, I'm just seeking the Lord in my spirit now. You know, really what God wants us to live and come to a place of. Let me put it right down there. Really what he wants us to live and come to a place of is discipline. Discipline. D -d discipline. When he right discipline. God really wants us to come to a place of discipline. That before we put anything in our mouth and before we release anything out of our mouth, we hear from him. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all don't want me to go to that scripture about what comes out defiles a man. Woo! Shout out of our sacred. He got out of our house you know, the enemy don't know, you know, he can be whispered in your ear, but he don't know that you're listening until you speak, until he see your actions. He don't know what he was accomplishing with you. I'm just saying, discipline, bridling our tongue. We want the, we're living in a time where the power of Almighty God, the, the do greater, oh, sound like the word for tomorrow, the do greater should be flowing out of us. It should be a normal, normal thing. Signs, wonders, and miracles is needed in the land, in the world right now. More than ever before. No, it ain't about it's it ain't about us running and hiding. It ain't about us wearing our mask. What? Signs, wonders, and miracles. Greater. If Jesus walked up to the man with the leprosy. Come on now. Hear the miracle. If he walked up to the man with the leprosy that everybody shunned, ran away from, and was scared of, like, like so many are of the virus today. If he walked up to him, put his hand on him, and the man was healed, and, but, but, but then he said we would do greater. Can somebody tell me what's wrong? Can somebody tell me, ain't, ain't, ain't it something wrong? Is something off? I, I, you know, I ain't, I ain't judging because I, that, I, ain't, I ain't judging you because I'm asking myself. Lord, Holy Spirit, Lord, reveal to me what I need to do. Intercession City need to see the power of God. They've seen religion. What they need to see is the drug addict need to get prayer and don't want drugs no more. And, and, and all of a sudden, standing in the tent or wherever, his whole appearance changed. He looks like a different person. He, 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 he began to just weep under the power of God. Not just Intercession City, but everywhere, y'all. Everywhere we go. Good morning, Ellen. 
Do you know that when we started with prayer, way back in February, in January, in, well, in the, the, the beginning of February, before we started in, in that prayer time in February, I would, Wesley and I was sitting in this altar area and having a conversation. And we were talking about, well, if Paul and Peter did it, and Jesus said we would do greater, how, why, we wanted to know what is it, what does it take to bring that to pass in our life? Now, I remember, and I know, I remember when I, I, I uh, when my former husband passed away, Y'all, I ain't been on in a while, so I'm a little fool. <laughs> but when my former husband passed away, when I don't give Wesley, and Wesley don't give me, then I have to give y'all, amen. <laughs> but, you know, I remember when my former husband passed away because he would move in signs and wonders. And, 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 and it, was, it was like, it was expected. He, you know, raised the dead. Whatever. He, he, he did. Good morning, Vivian. Asked the Lord, I said, what was it about, what, what was it that, that, that he was able to do that? You know what he said to me? You know what the Lord said to me? He was consistent. And he was. He, he was. And when his health started to fail him, where he would be racked, he would have, he would be in pain and still be trying to get out of bed and go to the dining room table to pray. His flesh didn't rule him. He felt like he had backslid because he couldn't do what he used to do for God. His flesh could not do it anymore. Like he, he, he you know, he had had an amputation and different things that had gone on. He wasn't concerned about his body. He was concerned that he was no longer able to get up and read the word for two read the word and, and meditate and read and read and meditate he, he, he declared it, he spoke it out he read the scripture over and over and prayed for everybody and everything other than himself for two or three hours every single morning and then he would pray again at 12 he would get up at 4 o'clock and do this and then he would pray again at 12 then he was praying again at 6 and every time you met him, he gave you a word, a scripture, or he would lay hands upon you and you would be healed. I said, Lord, what, what was that? He was consistent. His life was given to me. It was daily. I could depend on him. He didn't let me interfere or interrupt his prayer time. Because I'd be like, honey, you don't feel good. Rest. It's okay. God understands. He says, no, I got to get up. Oh, God. Whew. We just got to go a little higher. We got to go a little higher. Keep going. Keep moving forward. I truly believe. Because I've lived it and I've experienced it. Though, though I was just shaking with a temperature. Didn't feel bad, but I was shaking with the temperature. God had told me to do something. I pressed and went and did it in a way. When I got to where I was to be to do it, totally healed. Nothing wrong. We're to live a fasted life. Our flesh is not to rule us. That would be the question that Paul and Peter, that the disciples, that the apostles, did they allow their flesh to rule them? That would be the question. Oh, help us, Lord. Help us today, Father. Help us today, Father. Help us today, Lord God. Help us today. 
Help us, oh God, that we would not be subject to our flesh. But that we could, we would not be subject to, or we would not be as the disciples was when Jesus spoke to them in, in, in Mark 16. When he said, your unbelief and hard heartedness. You have been with me all this time. You've seen what I've done. I told you to go do it, but still yet you come back and say you can't, you, it, it's not happening and you can't. He says, go and preach the gospel. Heal the sick. Baptize. Woo! Cast out demons. Raise the dead. You know, when that, when that scripture says, if you should eat any deadly thing, it shall not harm you. Because you would ha you will be walking in the authority and the power to be able to raise the dead. Oh, my God. Y'all, let's take communion. Jesus did it for us. All that was lost, he gained for us. Jesus did it for us. Can we not lay our flesh down that we should do greater? That we should be agents upon the earth? That we would be able to just, just preach the gospel? Live the gospel? Because see, after the day of Pentecost, they lived the gospel. They lived Jesus. That's all they had. They lived and preached Jesus. That's all they had. We got so much extra stuff now. We really do. You know, amen. I'm not saying it's bad, but let's not leave. leave. Let's stay focused and keep going forward. Focused. Let's live and preach Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Father, help us as intercessors that we would live and preach Jesus. Live, preach, and pray, intercede. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Whoa, God. Whoa, God. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jehovah, Yeshua, and Holy Ghost. Amen. So be it. There's a stirring in my spirit. I was sitting to the table last night and the Lord gave me a word and he said, fast 10 days. You, you, and I was like, the number 10, what does that stand for? Whoa, God. Woo. Yada, da, 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 but I believe he's given me the answer. I want manifestation. I want manifestation. I'm believing him for it. I say, 
I'm interceding for it. Glory, Glory, Glory to God. You know, when they received the Holy Spirit, I wonder how long they would, they would just sit and pray in the Spirit. I, I just... You know what I'm saying? I, woo. See, we, we, we barely, our attention span can barely stay on here for an hour and a half. Because the enemy has come in and caused us to be like this so much. So microwavable. Can you sit in the presence? <laughs> Woo! 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 Whoa! Can you set aside three hours a day? Just sit in the presence of God. Pray in the Spirit as long as the Holy Spirit would have you. But just set aside three hours. But pray in the Spirit as long as the Holy Spirit would have you. No distractions. No phone. No computer. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. I hear you, Father. We don't seek the power. We just seek Jesus. <laughs> huh. Woo! You know, we just seek Jesus. Just seek Jesus. Whoa. Hiya, la leo, she got a sigh. Oh, ya da 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 ba si. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, I forgot to get Tani up, honey. Oh, ra ba 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 se. Oh, ya da 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 si. Glory, 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 glory. Roshi ya da da ya le osu. Father, we love you today. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Yeshua. Woo! Honey. Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus, 
Yeshua HaMashiach, that's who he is. He is Emmanuel, our Savior, our Lord, yes, he is. Everybody got there. Ooh, blood and body. The body and blood of Jesus. His body, he lifted up before Father. You know, he offered himself unto the, unto the Lord for us. He said, I'll go through, Lord. He said, I, I, I'll give my body that our creation would be reconciled with us. He said, Lord, I, I, I know that I'm going to suffer. He said, I know they're going to beat me with many lashes upon my back. He said, I know that I'm going to have to carry my own cross. My ah, yeah, da, 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 see, get it all. He said, I know that even Peter will deny me three times. He said, but yet still, Father, not my will, but thine will be done. Oh, that's what he said. And that's what he did, y'all. Yes. Whoa. Woo. That's what he did, y'all. When he took his body and he 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 lifted it up, he he, he offered it to Father. And, 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 and then it, he broke it. As a symbol that he was being offered for many. His body was being offered up for many. He was giving himself to suffer for all of us. And he said, take it and eat it. Place it upon your tongue. Let no evil come from your tongue. You know, I just, I just, just even eating of the bread as it represents the body of Christ. It's like he is the living word. He's the living word. And we talked about releasing the voice of God from our mouth. The living word. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. He got it up, I said. Ooh. Jesus, Jesus, and then his blood.
He lifted his, he lifted the fruit of the vine. Yes, this is elderberry syrup. But he lifted his, he lifted the fruit of the vine up to represent his blood. He lifted and he said, this is my blood which was shed to establish a new covenant with Father. Shed for the remission of sin for many. That many is all that would receive him. That many is all that would believe. That's who that many is. That's who the many is. The harvest is plenteous. Lord, we just pray, pray for the loss. Pray for the loss. Save. Oh God. Reconcile. Oh God. Oh God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, Worship him. Sing unto the Lord in his language. Sing unto the Lord in his language. Oh, oh. Sing unto the Lord in his language. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 
Jesus. Oh, we worship you. We praise you. We magnify you. We lift you up, Father. You and you alone. Oh, you're so wonderful. Ah, so mighty. Oh, you are, you are, you are. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get out of Osha. Get out of Osha. Praise God. Amen. We love the Lord this morning. Amen. We love the Lord today. We're going forward, amen. We're going to release his voice. We're going to release his voice. And we're going forward. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all do... <coughs> Practice. I don't even want to say practice. You just need to do it. With all sincerity of heart. I'll be back tomorrow. Amen. Anybody, if you have been blessed by what God has done and said this morning, because I'm telling you, this was Holy Ghost. I've been up all night. And I'm still wide awake. Because God ministered to me during the middle of the night. I think I may be called to the fourth watch. Uh, between, probably, I'm going to try to come on, Allison, somewhere between, uh, probably around 8 o'clock. Seven, between 7 and 8 o'clock. He hasn't given me a specific time, but between 7 and 8 o'clock. Amen. So you all join us. If you've been blessed by today, I want you to go to my YouTube page and subscribe to my YouTube page, y'all, because I need to build that up. That needs to be built up. Subscribe to Rise Up One United Voice YouTube page. And if you want to be a blessing to Rise Up One United Voice, the finances goes towards the ministry, guest speakers coming in, and also uh, the tabernacle that's being built. You can just, <clears throat> you can send it to paypal.me forward slash one united, <clears throat> forward slash rise up one. Uh, Cash app is O N E 2017. Hallelujah. And you can mail a check. Rise up one United Voice Post Office Box 1073 Intercession City, Florida uh, 33848. Um, <clears throat> August the 13th through the 15th, Bill Suddeth will be here. Mother Simone will be doing 12 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. And then uh, Bill Suddeth, which was a part, Bill Suddeth took over the deliverance ministry for Peter, for Peter Wagner. Powerful man of God. You really don't want to miss it. You really have to press beyond the hindrances that will come 
so that you can get what God has for you because it's valuable. It's because it's valuable. Amen. Well, God bless you. I'm going to be putting the ad the address and um, offering information on here. I don't always like to do that because people think that I, it's all about finances and it's just not for us. We live by faith and God is faithful. <laughs> so, let me tell you, we, we see miracles, miracles, miracles. God is faithful. And I thank the Lord for it. You, you know, to give unto rise up is just giving into good ground. And it will just always be multiplied. That's just the way that is. I don't say that pridefully. I say it from, I just say it from evidence. I just really do. You know, uh, testimonies. It, it's just amazing to me. And I thank God for it. You know, I just, I think, it, because we're blessed. Wesley and I are blessed. And, and, and I believe that we're blessed because we, we, uh, we give. Our house is open, is for the intercessors. And we pay the, the lease here. But our house is open for intercessors to come and stay, pray and seek the Lord. May be ministered to anytime. Because, because God says so. Amen. We love y'all so much. Y'all's a blessing. <laughs> we love you and we want y'all to be with us on tomorrow. Amen. Y'all be with us on tomorrow. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There we go. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. God bless you. We love you. And we will see you tomorrow morning between 7 and 8. Somewhere in between 7 and 8. Amen. I think I came on around 8.30 this morning. That's a real good time. I think that's a good time. Amen. God bless you. Y'all be looking at it for eight, for probably 8.30. Right, honey? Yeah. Amen. God bless you.